friends, posterior capsular rent occurred in this cataract surgery. Let us see how it happened and how I managed this case. By this time the main incision has been made, this elastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber. Now one side port is being made on the right side of the main incision and another side port is made on the left side of the main incision. Now capsular axis is to be done. Anterior capsule is incised, a capsular tag is raised. I hold this capsular tag with the uteta forceps, go anticlockwise and with three grasps I complete the capsular axis. I keep an upward thrust so that leakage of viscoelastic substance is minimized. Now hydro dissection is done. Fluid wave is passed from one side. It travels to the other side. In this case hydro delineation is also done and it has produced a beautiful golden ring. Visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Catrix 3. Nuclear sclerosis of this cataract is grade 2 or grade 2 plus. So it's not should not be difficult to manage the nucleus. But see what happened here. I have chopped this and now I am trying to emulsify this and suddenly there is a rent at 6.30 o'clock. So I wait for the viscoat, I ask for viscoat and I plug this rent with viscoat from Alcon and then I remove the tip of the FACO handpiece. Viscoat is nice, it can be injected through the side port by the left hand and now I am managing the rest of the nucleus. I have lowered the bottle height a little bit and slowly I am emulsifying the nuclear fragments. Yes, the nuclear fragments has been emulsified. Again, I inject viscoat and then come out. And now I'm going to use Simcoe cannula to remove the cortical matter from the area which is away from the rent. That is from 12 o'clock and then I go on either side and this viscoat is nice in the sense that it keeps the rent plugged very nicely and we can work around it quite confidently. But I don't have the courage to remove this cortex. So what I do is I inject viscoat again and my plan is to convert this rent into a posterior rexis so that I can implant 
an intraocular lens in the capsular bag. Now I am almost over the rent and here I find that I have got some vitreous strand. So I, what I do is I flush out some viscoat, some material, inject viscoat and then come out. And when I inject viscoat I can see the rent very nicely. And now I will be able to convert this rent into a posterior capsular excess. I take the ureter and hold it here and here I convert this into a posterior excess. Beautiful thing done because this rent will not extend now. And now I'm going to implant a multipiece sensor three piece intraocular lens in the bag. The leading haptic has gone into the bag and now I inject some viscoat over the optic, take a Macpherson's forceps, hold the trailing haptic and place the trailing haptic in the capsular bag. And now the leading haptic has gone to the rent area. So I dial the lens and I find that it is not coming easily from the rent area. And I had to exert some pull. Still, it is not totally out of the rent area. Part of the haptic is still in the rent area. Yes, now it has come out of the rent area. Now I check and find that the lens is in the capsular bag that is behind the anterior capsular rim. And now I do vitectomy. I've gone about 3 millimeter or so posterior to the posterior capsule into the antivitreous through the side port which was made at around 8 o'clock. And now I am cutting and aspirating whatever comes to the cutting port of this vitectomy cutter. The vitectomy cutter is from Alcon. The machine being used is Alcon's Acurus. It has got 2500 cuts per minute and I am using 150 vacuum and 1500 cuts. That's it. So, a lot of viscoelastic substance uh, has come out and anterior vitreous has been removed adjacent to the rent area. I do some more vitectomy. This is a two dimensional video. So, cannot appreciate the depth of the cutting port. It is far behind the posterior capsule. About 3-4 millimeter behind the posterior capsule. That's it. I'm sure that there is no vitreous strands in the anterior chamber. 
And now I am injecting viscoelastic substance to dial the intraocular lens so that the haptic which is at the rent area can be brought superiorly. Uh, here it is. I take a sense key hook and pull this haptic. Yes. Now the lens has come and the haptics are far away from the rent area. And the lens is behind the anterior capsular rim that is in the capsular bag. And now viscoelastic substance is removed I'm using a Simco cannula for this. And now, just for confirmation, I'm going to use triamcinolone acetate to check if there is any vitreous strands in the entry chamber. So I've injected a bit of triamcinolone and I wash it out and find that there is no vitreous strands in the anterior chamber. I followed up this case after six hours and the patient was doing very well. Cornea was clean, clear, there was no corneal edema, anterior chamber was very quiet and that's it. The case is managed well. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.